So now we've gone over the few different kinds of uh, survival boat out there that you can uh, try to go out and make if you ever needed to. Um, another option out there is if you have a survival bow, but there's no animals around to maybe hunt. Uh, another option is if you have any kind of water near you, uh, especially oceans, uh, tide pools, lakes, stuff like that, you might want to look into bow fishing. Uh, bow fishing is another way that you can use a survival bow to go ahead and get meals on the table. Um, it's actually a very easy process. I mean, most of these bow fishing kits that you buy in the stores, they're literally just a little spool that you wind up some reel, and it's a nylon thread like you use to make your bowstring. So if you've got some thread laying around or a paracord that you can somehow use, uh, attach it to an arrow, and you can then bow fish with it. Uh, that's just a really easy way to do it. You just have to tie it off. I mean, even with, uh, even with your slingshot bow, I've seen a few guys make uh, attachments for little PVC slingshot bows where they take old fishing reels and find a way to attach it underneath. So after they fired it, they just reel it in on the bottom of the thing. And that's just a PVC slingshot bow that's been turned into a bow fishing uh, weapon. Uh, now one thing to really keep in mind if you do go bow fishing is if you're not in a survival situation and you can't argue that you had to do it to save your life, uh, if you get caught by fishing game in some areas, it may be illegal. So you need to check out your local laws and statues about bow fishing. Um, here in California, we actually have a lot of strict laws on it. Uh, you can go up to Big Bear here in California and bow fish, but uh, they restrict it heavily to only being allowed to bow fish uh, for koi and carp. Uh, you can't fish for anything like trout or uh, you can't uh, get a catfish to come to the surface with a light and then bow fish it. Uh, you can't do anything like that here in California at many places. So really make sure you check it because the fines can go into the thousands. So if you've made a bow fishing setup for one of your survival rods, make sure that you check with your local fish and game wildlife if there's any kind of licenses or tags or cards that you need to get for bow fishing. Um, because if you're not in a survival situation, you're going to have a hard time arguing to a judge why you shouldn't have to pay that fine. All right, so we've gone over some basic survival bows out there and different kinds of tips and tricks that you can on making survival bows. Um, coming up next, we have one more module, and after that, we have our final project for you.